Okay, I'm throwing an object vertically upwards with an initial speed of 20 meters per second. How high is that object going to get? Well, let's have a look. So imagine I'm throwing my object from the ground, for example. Here's a, a football on the ground. Here's where I throw it up as a speed V when I release it from my hands. Then it gets to the top of this path and its speed is zero because it's stationary at the top. So it has no velocity when it gets to the top. How do we find out how high the ball gets? Well, we know that when it leaves my hand, it has lots of kinetic energy, but it has no potential energy because it's on the ground. So here we can write that the potential energy is equal to zero because it's on the ground. The kinetic energy, however, is not equal to zero because we've given it a speed by throwing it vertically. So the kinetic energy equals half mv squared. But what about when it's at the top, over here? Well, now it's stationary, so the kinetic energy is equal to zero because it's stationary, it has no speed. So the equation for kinetic energy is given by half mv squared. That's the kinetic energy. And if the speed is equal to zero, the kinetic energy is equal to zero. But the potential energy is not zero because now we're at a height h. So the potential energy is equal to mgh. This is our equation for the potential energy of an object at a height h above the ground. So what's happening as the ball goes from my hand to the top of its path? Well, the energy is being transferred from kinetic energy into potential energy. When it's at the bottom, it has no potential energy and all of its energy is in kinetic energy. But at the top of the path, the opposite happens. So there's no kinetic energy and a higher potential energy. So let's set these two things equal to each other. So let's set half mv squared equal to m g h. Now one thing we have on both sides of this equation that we can get rid of is m. So we do not need to know the mass of the ball. We can cross out m from both sides. Where does that leave us? Well we drop the m so we've now got half v squared on the left equals g h. Well what are we trying to find? We're trying to find how high the object will get which is given by h. This is what we're looking for. So to rearrange this, all we've got to do is divide by g. So let's divide both sides by g and we get h equals half v squared over g. Now we know that v is equal to 20. So this is half of 20 squared divided by g. Now g is equal to approximately 10 for our calculations. 20 squared is 400, so this is equal to half 400 divided by 10, which is equal to 200 divided by 10 equals 20. And the unit for this is going to be meters because it's a height. Our height is in meters and our speed is in meters per second. So this is how we calculate the height that our object gets to when we release it from a speed 20 meters per second.